Everyone. Hello, Angelica. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Thanks. How was your day? My day was pretty relaxing. I don't have too much work. Okay. It, remember in the past, no, I, I don't, is I? I didn't have. Correct. I'm Very sorry. Cool. No, no, it's good, it's good. That's why we practice, okay? All right, guys. So today, what we're doing is we are going to compare are houses and apartments. Do you remember yesterday where we had houses and apartments? We talked about them. Do you remember your dream house? The house that you, you imagine? Here in our 3.4, 3.4 in our platform, we have a lot of vocabulary. You can see here some of the vocabulary. Um, Lisette Castillo, can you read the vocabulary in yellow that's here? Okay. Comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, how, small, small, inconvenient, modern, noise, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious, and I am pretty sure that you can think of more. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure you can think of more. That's right, Lisa. Good. Uh, everybody, repeat the pronunciation. Here is huge. 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 Good. Good. Huge. Here is private. 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 Okay. Great. And here is Spacious. spacious, spacious, spacious. Good. Do you understand all the vocabulary? It's okay, the vocabulary? Any words you don't understand? Teacher, what is bright? Bright is a, a lot of light. When there is a lot of light, this is bright. What the mean huge? Repeat the word. Huge. Huge. Huge is very, very big. So when something is huge, it's big. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very big. Any other words? No, okay. So here are some words to describe a house or an apartment or the neighborhood, right? So we can have different houses or apartments. Today, we're going to look at a little bit of how to describe them. We use with evaluations, we are going to use the words as or enough. These are the words that we're going to use, as or enough. So for example, when you use as, as is the same. So if you say houses are as convenient as apartments, is the two is the same, the same idea. But if you say houses aren't as convenient as apartments, is the two not the same, okay? So we have many different examples, okay? We can say another, apartments aren't as expensive as houses. This is another way we use the subject, house or apartment, 
Then the verb to be, houses with plural are, apartments plural are, okay? And then we use as, as. This is the different adjectives. The adjectives are these words, comfortable, convenient, dangerous. These are the adjectives we use. And then we make the sentences like this. This means the apartments, no expensive like houses. Apartments are not ex uh, quiet like houses. That's what it means, okay? But if we make the sentence, for example, apartments are as expensive as houses is, they are similar or the same. You can change for convenient or other adjectives. Let me give you a little bit more, okay? So we also are going to use today the idea for as many or as much, okay? So as an example, apartments have as many, and then we can use as many rooms, as many bathrooms, as many windows. We can use different ones. For countable, we use many. For noun countable, we use much. The example, apartments don't have as much privacy as houses, okay? So the idea is two. We use enough or as, as, okay? So enough, okay? No problem. So enough is no more, is good. As, as is the two are equal. So when you, we use as, as is we say, I put in the chat, as, as the idea is they are equal, okay? When we use the word enough, enough means sufficient. It's okay, as, as, and sufficient. As, as, and enough. So imagine, Eric, you go to see a house. How many bathrooms do you want in the house? How many bathrooms, Eric? Okay, let's go with the next person. I think Eric is distracted. All right, so let's go with Lisette. Lisette, how many bedrooms or how many bathrooms would you like in your house? In my house is oh, one bathroom and what bedroom is it? It is most. No, no, no. Remember yesterday. How many do you imagine? How many bathrooms do you ah, imagine? Okay. In my dream house? Yes, yes, yes. In your dream house. It's really big. And it's four bedrooms. And it's comfortable. And it's in the city center. It doesn't pardon, have privacy. And it's idea for pet for pet because it's very spacious okay so if the house have three bathroom three bathrooms is okay or no bedroom, is that bedroom four three bedrooms 
bedroom. It's okay, uh, three bedrooms? Two, two bathrooms. So, yes, Lisa. So, three bathrooms is okay. Okay. Okay, that's when we use enough. So, for example, it has enough, and then we use the word, okay? For example, it has enough bathrooms. Or you can be more, my house has enough bathrooms. Or in the negative, in the negative, my, maybe my apartment, my apartment doesn't have, doesn't have enough bathrooms. Do you see how we use enough? Enough is sufficient. It's okay enough? In the first example, teacher, uh, it has bathrooms enough. Bathrooms. Sorry, sorry, I put it. Uh, yes, I put it has enough bathrooms. Okay. No bathrooms enough. It has enough bathrooms is the correct one. Thank you. You're welcome. It's okay how to use enough. This is only for one. Do you see? We use enough when we describe the one thing. Okay. So apartments don't have enough parking space. Houses cost or and we use apartments are big enough for family only describe one but as as is to compare enough not to compare enough only one it's okay okay teacher okay so we are going to practice using a little bit enough first. So with our partners, it, with using as, as, and enough, we are going to do 3.5 in the platform, okay? 3.5 with our partners. We look, which is correct. Read and select which one is correct, which is the correct way to answer the four. Okay. Only five minutes, only to check. Any questions? No, teacher. No question. Okay. 3.5, 3.5, five minutes. What else can you say? Well, you can say that, and what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative houses, and you can say apartments of different subjects. So in this case, I'm going to say a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject followed by as the adjective and as different subjects. So in this case, I'm going to say you will include whatever it is that you're comparing.
All right, let's check to make sure that it's clear for everyone. Number one, which one is correct? The third one. Okay. Not the, number, third the third one. Yeah. Okay. No, number. no, the first one is the third one. The first one is the third one? Yeah. Yes. Number two? Okay. The third one. The third one? Okay. Number three? First. 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 And the answer for number four? A smosh. A smosh. A smosh. Okay. As much. There is as much. As much. As much. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't have. Thank you. As much. Okay. Hmm. Good. Very good. So you can see number four is correct. As much. Good. We see number three is correct. Number two is correct. And number one is correct. What is the difference? Remember, as, as is to compare apartments, houses, my mom's house, my house. This is as, as. Enough is for my or for only one, okay? Much is for uncountable and many for countable. So in this moment, we have an idea. We're going to watch the video. It's a little long, but that way we can make sure we understand the video completely. Your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing. Okay. Remember here, where it says adjectives, we can use all of these adjectives. Okay. Remember the pronunciation, comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. All of these you can use here in the red. Houses aren't as maybe as bright as apartments or as comfortable or as private or whatever word you want, okay? It's okay how to use as as? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, remember, we also choose the other words, many or much. Many depend on the, the description. Many is with counts nouns, counts nouns. And much is with non-count. And the last part is, remember, we always use the same idea, much for uncountable or many for countable. In this moment with our partners, we are going to describe, compare, for example, my house and my mother's, my house, my brother, my house, my grandmother, my grandmother's house, my uncle, my aunt's house. But we want to compare the different apartments or houses and see the difference, okay? As an example, my house isn't as bright as my mother's house. Her house has a lot of light, okay? That is, I want to use the vocabulary, the vocabulary from the video and to describe, okay? Her house has enough bathrooms. It has two bathrooms, it's enough as an example. It's okay? Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to compare houses or apartments. Okay. That's number one. Number two is we're going to describe one house or apartment. 
This is where we use in number one as as and number two enough. Any questions, any vocabulary? How do you say es más cerca de la parada de buses que la mía? How do you say that? How do you say es más cerca de la parada de buses? It's close to this bus station. Good. It's close to the bus station. If you compare, is as close or not as close to the bus station. Correct. This is the idea you want to describe. Remember? Okay. So, any other any other questions? Okay. Let's go with our partners.
Okay. Are we ready? Let's try. Vanessa Carolina, compare house or apartments and describe. House. My house is being enough. It has a living room, a kitchen, four bedroom, a garden, three bathroom, and garage. Okay, no, no, that's very good. Very good, Vane. You use enough as as is good. Okay. Vane, select the next person. Yes. The next person, select. The name. Mm -hmm. Okay, select the next person. Ask. Go ahead, Vane. Vanessa Ramirez. Okay, Vanessa Ramirez. Good. All right, Vane. Okay, the computer is a, a part, apartments don't have as much space as houses. And uh, ap apartments don't have individual gardens or a space for a, for a swimming pool. And, and uh, houses can can have a space for, for, for a garden or a swimming pool. <laughs> Finally. Okay, okay, Vane, good, good. All right, pretty good. Good describing the idea. All right, Vane. Remember, we need the same good. Vane, who's next? Um, Mario Barahona. Okay, Mario. Uh, I don't like house. My brother uh, don't have as many bedrooms as my house. Or uh, a house in Santa Tecla cost uh, twice of much a similar house in Soyapango. Continue, Mario. Continue. Um, <laughs> uh, Solo he hecho esos dos ejemplos, sorry. Solo esos dos en, en no siete minutos. Más. Ok, ok. All right, Mario, good. Remember, it's my brother's, my brother's, brother's. house. Okay. Good. All right, Mario, select the next person. Who's the next person, Mario? Eric Ramirez. Eric, all right. Eric, it's okay or the destruction in your house? Um, it's okay. Okay, okay, Eric. Go ahead. Um, my house, uh, my house is not, uh, or isn't. Alone. My house isn't as big as my friends. Um, my house doesn't have a large playroom. Okay. Um, my brother house. Is has expensive. Uh, is uh, as my house only that. That's good. That's good. Use as as and enough. Very good. All right, Eric. The last person. Select the last person, Eric. Mm. Monica Escobar. Okay, Monica. Okay, maybe Monica also has, let me check. Mm. 
Okay, maybe Monica is at work or busy. Eric, select another person. Uh, Angelica Lasso. Okay, no problem. Angelica, you ready? Hello. Hello, Angelica. Um, uh, my house is as near to bakery as my partner's. And my house has enough bathrooms. Um, Diana's apartment has some has as much bathrooms as Angelica's house. Okay. Only that. <laughs> okay, it's okay. That's the idea. The idea is to begin expressing ourselves and to get comfortable. Any questions for us as enough, much, or many? Teacher, much is para un contemporary. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today, the idea was to use as as is equal, enough, one, sufficient, many, countable, much, uncountable. All right, now we're going to go and we're we not continue with 3.6. In this moment, we're going to pause and check. Okay. Okay. Todos terminaron la lección uno, sección. Todos los knowledge check de la sección uno. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yes, sir. No questions. Yes. No question. Okay. Everyone finish section two. Section two. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. In my case, no. Ah, okay. In Lisette or Arvane? I finished. Uh huh. Eh, Escuché a alguien decir, in my case, no. No, era Vane, no. No, teacher. teacher, Angelica. Ah, Angelica. Okay, Angelica. All right, no problem. It's okay. Alguien más que todavía le falta section two? Me, teacher. Vane también. Vane Ramirez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No se preocupe. Ya les voy a explicar por qué. Le estamos preguntando para que puedan formar los grupos correctamente. Okay. All right. Los, okay. Los demás, sí. Ya están terminados con... Sección 2, ¿yes? Yes. yes. Ok. Yes, perfect. teacher. All right, excellent. Ok, en este caso, Angélica en Vane van a ir a un grupo, van a hacer la, van a completar la 2 para ya estar al día hoy para iniciar 3 mañana, ok. Los demás que ya terminaron la 2, vamos a hacer otra actividad, que es, vamos a estar conversation. Tenemos practicar, no es suficiente ver las cosas, tenemos que usarlo. Entonces, lesson one is talking about the past tense, correct? So today we talk about the past tense. We ask questions, we just did, was, were, wh, when, what, how. Queremos que sea normal, no que, ay, solo para la clase lo estudié. No, queremos preguntar, hey, en tu cumpleaños, en Navidad, y en hey, el, la Semana Santa, all of the different things. Para el día de Valentín, ¿qué te regaló? Pero lo queremos hacer en inglés. Así que, did, remember, did with actions. Was, were, no actions. Is for professions, descriptions, or locations. Okay? Okay. Yes? Okay, hang on. Yes. Um, Okay, and let me move. Okay, so Angelica and uh, Vanessa Ramirez, you are going to finish unit two. The others are going to practice speaking review unit one. WH questions, did, uh, was, were, okay? 
for example, when was your birthday? What did you do? Where did you go? Who did you go? What all of the questions? Yes? Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, let's do it then. Perfect, let's try it. windows as houses that might be hi everyone by the end of this class you will be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments additionally you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house for example you'll be able to make the following comparisons apartments don't have as much privacy as houses houses aren't as convenient as apartments In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there. And then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, 
um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as and and both will be the correct way of expressing it so we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses and that's my personal opinion right or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses and you can use any adjective to compare the two you can say apartments are as quiet as houses apartments are as spacious as houses apartments are as convenient just like we see the example there right as houses and so remember that this kind of things you're making comparisons so maybe in your area apartments are the same as houses so they cost the same you know they are as big as houses uh, apartments are as convenient as houses etc usually that's not the case usually they are big differences among houses and apartments but in this case we're saying that they are the same what I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns and what do I mean by nouns well when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments we can think of things like rooms privacy bedrooms bathrooms kitchens anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house those are nouns if you will and what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top so first of all we're gonna have some sort of subject so in this case as you can see apartments is um, our uh, subject there I'm gonna go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen so apartments that follows the verb the verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form and then we're gonna include as or just as as you can see there and after that you will include many plus account now so I want you to pay attention to that real fast we're gonna have many plus account now and what do we mean by count nouns well count nouns are those things that you can easily count if you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non count nouns we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count or this will follow much plus a non count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non count? Well, again, recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses and then again you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments what else can you say well you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses that might be the case you can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can, you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright expensive huge and if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula right like for example you can say my house 
isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can, you can say my neighbor's house doesn't cost as much money as my house. It's okay. All right, let's try a little bit. Let's see. Angelica and Vanessa, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Hey, good. So tomorrow, June 3, yes? Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, thank you. Good work, good job. All thank right. You. Eric, tell me about Diana. What did you learn? What did you learn about Diana? Um, Diana, she, uh, they, she ate, she ate uh, sushi. Um, Today. Uh, in in past time in in mm -hmm. Ferrari in, uh, in Ferrari oh, uh, Valentine's Day okay <laughs> she, <laughs> baby she got the boyfriend baby baby mm -hmm. sushi sushi <laughs> okay okay she got uh, she, no so yeah uh, he she went to a party of this best friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only that teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's good. It's good. All right. Diana, what did you learn about Eric? Um, Eric's birthday was on March 26th. And he had a lot of celebrations. And it was celebrated by his family, by his workmates, by his friends, and by himself. He has this friend that celebrates to all of his workmates. And he was very kind with him. And he told him that he didn't have to pay because it was his birthday oh co-worker okay and um, he likes intimate party parties that okay good so we understand intimate no is the same in spanish intimate party is small parties right Ya le vi la carita a algunos de que, no, 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 small parties, a eso se refiere, small parties, intimate parties. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Lisette, what did you learn about Marlon? Okay. Um, I talk very much things and I begin talk and his day his day was very stressful for job you his job start start in 6 5 a.m and finish uh for PM. He lived uh, for 40, 40 minutes. 
drive being in your in his car the your house at the work and it is from he's from atikisaya and only excellent excellent remember the pronunciation 6 30 6 30 and his house okay good marlon tell us about this set okay um the day of the set was relaxing um she organized her activities in her house she works in caja de crédito her birthday is on december 6 she lives with her daughter and her husband her job her job is very stressful because uh, she starts at at 6 30 a.m um only this okay thank you thank you marlon remember she lives always lives mm -hmm. good all right monica tell me about vane Hello, teacher. Um, Monica and me, eh, estamos trabajando, avanzamos un poco en la plataforma. Ah, uh, ¿cómo? Eh, estuvimos discutiendo los ejercicios de la siguiente, eh, del siguiente punto para estarlos resolviendo. ¿De las dos? Del 3.8. Ah, uh, ok, ok. I understand. Okay, so no talking. Okay, no problem. It's okay. The important is we continue. Okay. Well, thank you so much. The idea is that all the group, the group is finished. One and two. This week we finish three. Well, not this week. Tomorrow we finish three. And Friday we have the exam before the vacation. Eso es la idea. Finish the exam before the vacation. Así no están con, ay, el examen, la plataforma, queda, no. One, two, and three before the vacation, okay? Okay, teacher. So tomorrow, okay, let's teacher. finish unit three. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Thank good you night. for connecting. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.